One of the experiences in India you must partake in is riding on a train. It is almost a rite of passage. Our maiden voyage takes us on a nine hour journey from Delhi to Amritsar. This was our first time on a train here in India, and it was unforgettable. Let's show you why. We're at the Nizamuddin rail station here in Delhi, and the train that we're taking is supposed to leave at 1400, but there's already a notification here that it's not gonna leave until 1435. We really hope that's the final delay, but there is, at least is a waiting room. So we're gonna see if we can find that while we're waiting for the train. That's really interesting. Watch a sign language video to know what to do. And we're heading up the stairs here to see if we can find our Aircon waiting room. To use the AC waiting room, it's okay? Thank you, man. It's 29 degrees Celsius outside, which we thought was gonna be a lot hotter than it is, but it's actually not too bad. But it's even better being in this lounge where we have pretty cold AC blowing right on us. In addition to that, there's also bathrooms in here. There's places that you can eat and get cold drinks. Seats are pretty comfortable and it's really not that crowded. And for only 10 rupees a person per hour, I think it's a pretty good deal. And there's also a train tracker, so we don't have to really leave the lounge at all if we want to make sure that we don't miss our train. We've come down to platform one, and the train is supposed to be arriving at 1505, which hopefully is any minute now. And we're not really sure whether we're in a cabin or a coupe, and we don't know if we're upper or lower berth, so hopefully they can tell us all that once the train arrives and we get on. It's it looks like we're coming up on AC first. We're one AC, so hopefully that is where we need to be. Hello. Hello. Is Namaskar. This? Uh, this is here. Yes. Okay. Which is number one? I don't know. It doesn't show me. Can you check for us? Go this way. Thank you, bud. It's cold in here. So around 1520 is when we finally got on the train. Joy, joy. They're gonna team make it soon. And I think we're off. I don't need the car. I don't have. I go to the car, I go to H1, A1, B1, S1. I don't have. The car is not See? I open internet and I don't have. Okay, so we're going they didn't give me. So he's making it seem like we should already have our C number, but we don't, so I don't know where we're going to get that. So unfortunately, he's moved us to the bathroom area outside of even the AC car, so this is not so best. Hopefully, uh, Kati said she saw him talking to a man with an iPad. Hopefully, that guy's got like the like confirmed seats on it, and within the next couple minutes, we can actually get into our cabin. Don't follow the door. The door is open. Oh. I don't have my seats. Okay. We ordered online. Catering? Uh, yes, yes. Catering. Okay. This is, oh, this is your okay. cabin. <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you. <laughs> we were lost. Uh, How do we find out our cabin? That's it. Uh, I have your seat. Okay. Yeah. Is there a way? Will? Will? Yes, my yeah. husband. Will? Okay. Listen. Is there a way to find out before we get on train? For our next train? No. Next are we? Train? Yes. No, just in general, are we supposed to go and check in before? We're supposed to check in at the train station for them to give us the seat number? You can find your seat uh, your PNR number. PNR number? PNR number. Okay. Yes. And where do I find that? 139. Type PNR. Uh -huh. Text message. Uh huh. Oh, you and text send message? To text message. Yes, and send to 139. 139. Yes. Okay. For next time. Okay. Okay. Thank you, bud. Um, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> so when do we know the seat number? Uh, day of? Four, four hours before. Three. Four hours. Oh, okay. 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 Thank you, bud. <laughs> so nice. We don't know our seat number for the next time, so we're trying to figure out how do we figure that out. He says we apparently have to text a num our PNR number to uh, this number, but he was trying to go ahead and check for us to see if the seat numbers were available, which it wasn't, but that was still very kind of him to do.
we're finally into our room and we got a coop. So we got just two beds for Kati and I, our own private room here. We weren't sure if we were gonna have that or a cabin where we share it with two other folks. We have our AC pumping from the roof, which is very exciting. We have some sheets here, but I would imagine that they're not clean. Yeah. Hello. Okay, come in. Hello. Hello. Oh. Okay, these are old sheets? Okay. New. Okay. These are new? Okay. It's a little funny. Daniel? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh? Okay. We'll get out of your way. Seat confirmed. Seat confirmed, yes, yes Daniel. Okay. <laughs> 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 Hello. 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 Hey, you ask and you shall receive. You were wondering about your sheets. We got fresh sheets now. The key is just to be a loud, typical American and just yell everything and then things just fall into place. So yes, all right, we have our fresh sheets. So I think everyone shares the same comforter time after time, which is okay. Let's turn these bunk beds into a comfortable living room area. Okay, that's up. Hopefully that's up good. Am I supposed to secure this? Okay. I think that's our couch. Oh. oh. Okay. Okay. I think there's gotta be a latch somewhere. This is this latch it in. Oh, oh there we go. Okay, no problems. Alright, we'll give you a very quick overview. I mean I think you guys know how rooms work, but we have our plugs in here, so plenty of options there. Uh, we've got everything converted. You could have two beds or you could have a bed and a couch like we have. A little rack for my hats. I guess you could hang up your shirt, your coat, anything else that you need. We have our control over here for the air conditioning. I don't know why we turn it down from 100% cold, but you can if you want. We have our privacy here with not only a door that locks, but also with a curtain for extra privacy. Over here, not a full length mirror, but it's pretty dang big. I mean, I'm six foot one and it's above my head so it's a pretty good size mirror here against the wall and we have a little tray here that you eat off of but i think when we do order food they're going to bring another uh, tray out uh, for eating as well there's a nice trash can here and there's even looks like bottle holders which i've never seen in my whole life but i imagine that you can just hang your bottle here so we can try it with our water bottle that we brought with us put the cap on it or something i think or, yeah it hugs the neck of the bottle yeah or we have one of these so that works too even better <laughs> hello hello <laughs> he's selling water now 20, we uh, have water change? for now thank yeah, you sir okay. okay he has cappuccinos he has chai he has uh, soup, yeah, got a lot of good things. Yes, good. <laughs> then you have advice. Then <laughs> So we were trying to get all creative and get this really cool shot, and I was about to hold the tea, and then the train tripped and it almost spilled. But thank goodness it did not spill, and we saved our chai. We have a hot chai, ice cold AC, and a beautiful view. Let the journey begin. No train ride is complete without some local snacks. So we have some snacks here and we're going to try them out. And I'm really excited because they all sound really, really unique. And we got them from a local shop in Delhi before heading on the train. And each thing I think was about 10 rupees each. Now, I don't know if that worked, but we are trying to call the attendant. Also the train slowing down. I hope we didn't say we were in trouble. Okay, we are trying to call the attendant so we can see if we can order some dinner. I know there's options to pre-book dinner, but we didn't know how to do that online. But hopefully we can still grab dinner tonight on the train. Yeah. Uh, over there? Okay, yes. You come back? Okay. He's gonna come here. Okay. Thank you, bud. Okay. What do you have? Bread omelet, bread cutlet. 
Bench? Bench. Yeah? Uh, how, two bench? No, no, I'm Ali. Ali? Bench? Yeah, bench. Bench? Uh, keep in the basin? Okay, 50. 50? 50. 50? 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. Chai, chai. Uh, Nehi. <laughs> okay. 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 Then you what? No idea what's in here. He started listing some things. I just said, do you have a uh, veg option? I think I said veg. I hope I said veg. Um, so hopefully this is a veg option. It was 50 rupees. Let's see what we got for dinner. The big reveal. Oh, <laughs> some bread. Okay and tomato ketchup <laughs> it is warm oh okay some kind of maybe chickpeas or other kind of beans yeah no idea what this is uh if you do know what it is please let us know uh but i guess we got some dinner i mean we could also order more of this if we end up liking it and if we're still hungry and if our snacks aren't sufficient I took a bite, it tastes fantastic. There's some great spices in there and it looks like there's some potatoes and little pieces of carrots as well. It's a great option for dinner. Constructed everything just like a sandwich with the tomato ketchup on it as well. It's really, really good all together. Ooh, chocolate kiss. You want chocolate kiss? Yes. Uh, keep the pesa? Yep. One hundred. One hundred? No, no, no. One piece. One piece, fifty. Fifty? Mm. One piece? Yeah? Okay. Thank you, bud. Thank you, bud. Thank I know most people have their doors closed. I've noticed as I was walking to the bathroom, but it's way more fun to have the door open because people are just walking by trying to sell snacks and uh, tea. And even if you're not getting anything, you could say hi and they're just so friendly and smiling. And it's definitely making this experience way more fun. Hello. Hello. Dinner? 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 Yes. Uh, what do you have? Bench? Bench. Yeah. Uh, it's like. Bachan paneer, batata, one minute. Okay. One minute. Okay. <laughs> Even this might be actual proper dinner. Yeah. Uh, it's meal. Rice. Rice, yes. Yeah. Or mutton paneer. Mutton? No, no. That's mutton is is. Mutton is mutton paneer. Is that veg? Potato. Okay. Yes. Yellow dal. Uh, yes. Yeah. Rice. Three piece parotta. Potato fry. Potato uh, dal. Yes. yes. Uh, you rice. said rice. Yes. yes. And roti. Yes. And roti. roti. Okay. Veg. Yeah. Two plate. Uh, how Two much? Plate. How much? What yes. fifty? Is a lot of food? A lot of food? No, no, heavy. No, no, normal. Normal. Two plates. Two plates. Two plates. Two plates. Two plates. Two plates. Yeah. Okay, then you it. Thank you, bud. Then you it. And then we have a table right here, right? Table? Yes? Oh. Yes, to eat. Yes. Ah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Can you tell us name? Name? Dal. Dal. Dry aloo. Okay. Batata. Dry batata. Matar paneer. Okay. Salad. Rice. Pickle. Spoon. Okay. Roti. Roti. Okay. Okay. Then you <laughs> It's been about three hours since we ordered food and we were a little confused. We're like, were we supposed to go get it from somewhere? But I do remember he wrote down our numbers for our cabin and we were just confused. We we're like, okay, maybe we'll just get soup from the guy that has the chai tea. But we were stopped at a station. I was just kind of peeking out and I was like, wait a second, maybe they have to get from the station. So I think that's where we got the food from um, instead of them cooking it on the cart on the train. Because when I was looking online to look for food, it made it seem like you were getting the food from the station, like pre-ordering it. So I think that's what happened. If you guys know, if you can explain to us, that would be great so we can be prepared for our next train. But we're gonna dig in because this food looks delicious and it smells even more amazing. We just finished eating our delicious dinner and yeah, it was fantastic. 
We have a few more hours to go until we get to our final destination. But while we wait, I wanna just tell you guys about our experience at getting our tickets because not everybody has had a smooth experience. We did go onto the official IRCTC website. We created an account and we did have to get like a OTP number to confirm the account. So some people might've had trouble with that, but we were able to do that. We created the account and we started looking for tickets and we found them. And I've also heard people have had issues with payments, but we just picked, there's like quite a few options for payments. You could do credit cards and like UPI and I think you pay like there's just a whole list of them and it can be confusing but I just kept trying until we found one that worked with our credit card. After buying this first ticket we went ahead and booked out all the rest of our train tickets for our stay here and it was really really smooth. So it might be kind of tricky to set up but once set up smooth sailing after that. And the total price that we paid for this amazing nine hour journey in this wonderful AC coupe was 4,185 rupees. Amazing. After 12 hours, we finally made it to our destination. Due to the hospitality on board, the quality of our room and all the delicious food, we had an unforgettable experience. Thank you for watching this video. This is Witty Travels. What could possibly be next?